really set up duckdebian.net, which I did, and yes, um, things began to evolve somehow. Then two years later, the QA team suggested that I should package duck to make it easier for developers to run the checks I run on the website. And I did an ITP for Duck, and in March 2014, there was the first initial upload. So, in April 2014, the integration into Check All the Things, also known as CAT, uh, was done. So you see CATs and Ducks can work <laughs> together. And uh, in August 2014, uh, also uh, the output which comes out from, the website, uh, from my website is in was integrated into tracker.debian.org. You will see it later. Okay, and for in July 2015, I, did the, I started the duck challenge, which some of you might probably heard of, which lasted until end of DEPCON 15. Yeah, so how, how is it working? Basically, I check homepage URLs and email domains and VCS, whatever URLs in the control file, copyright file, unit files, patches files, yeah, several other files. And those checks are just run once a day. And I display the results on duckdebian.net. And as I said before, the data is consumed by trackers.debian.org. You see those action needed items. The URLs for this package had some recent persistent issues. So yeah, it's somehow in there then. OK, and the other side too is the package, which works like this. If you, you run it into the source tree, you see that for alien, I do just up get source alien. I hop into the source tree. If I run duck and for alien, I see that, for example, it says the Git repository does not work. Or there are some other informational um, informations, <laughs> like a domain redirection detection, uh, which might be worth fixing. So how is this all working? The internals are I'm heavily used Perl and a lot of shell scripting. And usually for the website, I fetch the sources file from my local mirror, and they get the carnivore tables from UDD to get all the usernames and all the email addresses and the real names. And I extract all check data, so all data I needed for running my checks, and I put it in the gear main queue. That's the first thing I found and which seemed reasonable, easy to work with to me. And currently I'm running with three workers. Um, because I cannot use more because then I might get blacklisted on some websites because of generating too much traffic. Yeah, so this results in about 40,000 jobs a day and it takes about 20 hours to run. So you see here, um, yeah, at 10 minutes past midnight, I uh, start a new run with 40,000 jobs and the duckdebin.net slash munin, you can see the progress for each day, yeah. Okay, uh, the data that comes out of that it gets grouped in by person, issues with homepage entries, issue with VCS, whatever entries, or by, mark, by domain. The idea behind grouping by domain was like, okay, if I see that some specific domain is not working, either it's really down, and then we just have to wait until it's up again, or maybe there was like a migration from one hoster to another, and so it might be easier to just notify the um, team running or uh, handling those packages which all have like the same base URL in there to just move all of them over. Yeah, and the output of all this grouping stuff, uh, it just produces static HTML files and I use some GNU plot for the charts. Okay, so and then you come up, I come up with this. It's duck.debian.net if you want to take a look. Eventually look up your name or your packages or whatever and start fixing it, okay. So, and here's some charts. As I started in uh, September 2004, I even, I even started uh, earlier, but I only have data back to 2014. I started with about 22,000 um, source packages in total. The number is slowly rising. Currently, we are at about uh, 25,000. And the red line is the packages with issues. Um, the peak in mid-2015 was uh, as SourceForge went offline for some days. <laughs> yeah, so currently we have about 1,700 source packages which, with issues, which is a quite high number in my opinion. Um, if I try to 
get pr percent values of this, I see like, okay, there are currently about 6.5% um, of all packages which have some issues. The trend line shows that uh, we're actually getting better for whatever reasons. So either people know about this or people just fix stuff anyway. Yeah. Another interesting thing is uh, because I collect uh, also the total number of uh, repositories, you can clearly see that uh, Git is on the rise. <laughs> and Subversion is still um, somehow prominent, but yeah, I, uh, to me it seems like all new projects either use Git, or yeah, I think they mainly use Git for new projects. Darks was mentioned because it was the top three. That the yeah, so version Git and Darks were the top three uh, competitors for number of repositories. Yeah, you see, Subversion is somehow stable. I think that's I think this will like stay there for quite some time. It's actually uh, getting lower, very very low. But yeah, just Git is clearly on the rise. Um, the other side to it is the duck tool by itself. As I said before, you can just install it, up, get install duck, and run duck in your ex in your package source tree. And basically, um, the output output is grouped into three error labels, which is O, I, or E, meaning OK, information, and error. Which yeah, for stuff which is OK, it's usually not displayed until you was stuck to do this. Informational stuff is like, okay, um, take, a, take a look at it. It might be even a false positive or it, it's nothing that's really making things break but might be uh, better to fix. Like you get, for example, several homepages are reached only after three redirections and stuff like that. So it just might uh, enter the last one which is the real one and, and, and not like yeah, three hops before. And the error level means really there's something broken. Okay, the current features. Uh, yeah, it, it just reports all non-200 OK for HTTP or HTTPS. So it's basically URLs that if you would put them into the browser, you would get an error page. And it also reports domain redirection, parked domains. I'm using several regular expressions to find out if the website has moved, is parked, just like the domain grabbing people, which just reserve lots of things after they like expire. Um, redirection from HTTP to HTTPS, so you might as well just enter the HTTPS URL. Even redirects back from HTTPS to HTTP, which happens sometimes, which I think is a bad thing to do. Yeah, and it just reports broken URLs in all the other uh, entries like VCRS. It even checks uh, if there are valid mail domains for the email addresses of the maintainers or uploaders. I, I'm not able to check the email address by itself, but I'm able to look up if there's a working domain for the mails. And if there's no domain, I'm quite sure the email cannot be uh, sent there. OK, the plans for the whole thing is uh, currently it's like a, a bit of a hack on the top of a hack because it just got more and more features. And I will clearly rewrite this probably this year. And I'm also planning to do more checks or improve the checks and add some exceptions for some very uh, fancy um, websites which, yeah, which make my uh, regular expression detection kind of go crazy. Currently I'm running duck on duck.debian.net. I'm planning to migrate to duck.debian.org. Uh, yeah, uh, it's still my fault. Um, it will take some time, but it, I will do it. If there are any suggestions as what you might also think would be worth checking, please drop me a line right here or somehow, some else. Yeah, so uh, another thing is this just started as a fun project for me. I started it as I was no Debian developer then. And it was really amazing because I got so much great feedback from the Debian people. Uh, for my first, um, Posting on Debian Devil, lots of people wrote back, "Yeah, that's great." And how about checking this and that and whatever and whatnot? And it was really amazing because uh, it showed to me that the community is very friendly to people who want to help, and that's what I think I did. 
Yeah, and that's really what got me into Debian. And now I'm DD, and uh, if there's someone who still thinks about how he might get involved, just do what you might think could help the project, and just do it and announce it somewhere. And then eventually things start rolling. So uh, thank you for your attention. And are there any questions? Uh, currently, currently the output is available uh, on the website as a just a daily changing list of package of names with issues as a, as a text file, just one package name per yeah, it line. Be, it but be also a feature request, like it, it would be nice if you could. Yes, sure. I can I can implement that for sure. Should be no problem. Yeah. Any more questions? Okay, then thank you. <laughs>